If you've been following our 2022 holiday Name the Fly streamer series, you'll know we've really been tying just a bunch of crazy, flashy, fun ties. And none of them so far have been tied to imitate anything at all, really just some crazy attractor baitfish patterns. But I have tried to work in the color theme for the holiday we're tying for whenever possible, but the problem with Father's Day is, you know, what's a good color scheme for Father's Day? I had no idea, so brown, I guess. Now we've already done a couple of really bright and flashy bucktails for this, so this one I wanted to do a feather wing. And I didn't use any crazy techniques with this one, but you might learn a couple things from it. First off, diamond braid. I'm using diamond braid for a body. If you've never tied with that material, you'll see it in action here, and it's some pretty cool stuff. And the second thing, it's just a tip on how I tie a feather wing streamer when I'm using multiple feathers. Okay, so I am dying to hear what you think we should call this pattern. Just leave your comment with what you want to name it. I'll leave it open for a couple days. I'll get my kids. We'll pick the top five or so names, and then we'll put it out there for a vote. And I'll send the winner a $25 gift card to Jay Stockard. But one more thing, the Savage Flies hat. So that's it, everybody. Have fun with this one. I can't wait to hear some of the names y'all come up with. So there it is in the vise. Nothing too complex about it. Just a little crazy color scheme streamer here. Let's go ahead and put a base down to where the barb was. And I did decide to go with the tail. And I'm going to just use four or five strands of peacock sword fibers. Because why not? These are kind of cool looking. And I don't use them all that often. So there we go. I think that's going to be fine right there. Let's go ahead and bury these up just a little bit. And I am going to put in a rib. And I've chosen for this one a brown. This is a brown floss. I tried one with a red, and it didn't really do much for it. But again, I think you could use anything you want here. You could use a flashy colored floss, or yeah, since we're gonna have a flashy body though, so I wanted a kind of a dull colored rib. So let's get that caught into the back, and I'm gonna park it with my magnet here. And for the body, I'm going with this diamond braid, flat diamond braid, and this one's a root beer color, just because it's kind of cool looking. Take a look at this, it's, it's flat right there, but it's kind of wide, and it's just some neat stuff. I used it for the first time just a couple of months ago, with, I forget what we were tying with it, but I liked it, so I went and got a bunch of other colors. Let's catch this one into the back where we want to start wrapping it. Okay, I think that's fine right there. Now take our thread up front, and I'm just going to wrap this and let it lay flat. You could probably cord it up if you wanted a little bit more bulk to your body. I don't think that's necessary. All right, now let's wrap this rib, and I'm going to counter wrap it. That's not counter wrapping it. This is counter wrapping it right here. And I'm gonna let it lay flat. Again, you're not gonna see a lot of this, but what I'm effectively doing is just covering up a little bit of that flash to make it less of a flashy body. Now, I don't know if that had the desired effect, but yeah, maybe it did. Okay, and I did want to throw it on this, and I decided, I was thinking about a marabou or something flashy and, and some crazy color, but I decided to keep it kind of plain and a little bit boring and just go with the more peacock sword fibers. Again, take about four or five of these. So whatever length you think is gonna look good, let's just catch a few of these in right here. See what we got right there. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's snip off the front. All right, a few extra wraps in case we got a little mess right there. Now, here's a tip that, you know, when I'm tying multiple feathers in a feather wing streamer, I will go ahead and, and prepare several of them and then just glue them together. So this is two green saddle hackle feathers with an Indian rooster saddle uh, and a barred ginger on the, the two on the outside. So you see that? I've just laid them together and put a drop of UV resin right there where the barbs meet the stem. And that's how I'm gonna catch it in. And I want it long. You know, I purposely wanted a pretty long streamer here. 
So I'm gonna pull some extra thread out and just lay this on here with a couple of loose wraps, two or three loose wraps, and then make sure my position is where I want it because I want them, you know, perpendicular in the plane of the hook and again, kind of long. So I think that's where I want it. I'm gonna pinch them and go forward with a couple of tighter wraps. And with any luck, they're not gonna spin around on me. They'll still be in the plane of the hook right there. And in this case, they are, so I think we're fine. Let's pull these up and then just snip these four little stems as close as we can get them right there. Now build our head. It's a streamer, we can make a small head if you want or build it up as big as you want. I'm gonna go kind of big here. I like streamers with big heads. I'm not painting eyes or anything on it like that, but you know, I think streamers look better sometimes with big, hard, shiny heads. Okay, there we go. If we got any cleanup, now would be the time to do that and a drop of UV resin. If I'm critiquing this one, I should have gone back a little farther. I'd rather that wing be pushed down just a little bit more. And I could probably still do that. Just reattach my thread and put a few more wraps down. But that's it, everybody. The 2022 Father's Day Name the Fly streamer. I appreciate y'all watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.